Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to the shaping room. Uh, so let's talk about our Armalite River surfboards. So first of all, every wave out there is different. Uh, different flows, different wave shapes. If you're lucky enough to have a real fast, powerful river wave uh, where a board planes out really easily, the perfect board is going to be thinner and smaller uh, so that you can really dig and engage the rails into the water for turns. Uh, for the majority of river waves with slower moving water, even some uh, churned up white water, you're going to require some extra volume, uh, some extra surface area, and a really fast shape. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to get flushed out and you're going to have a real hard time. Uh, so we build all different shapes and sizes here. Uh, we have a lot of shapes listed on our website, uh, but if you need help picking out the right shape and size for you, just let us know. Um, also, we custom um, we custom size boards. We build boards here so we can do that. Um, but I love talking to paddlers and surfers and helping them get fit with the perfect board. Uh, so here I have our 5, 6 by 25 inch wide, uh, approximately 61 liter uh, Montrose Hyper River Surfboard. Uh, most popular size. Um, here I have our XL 5, 8 by 27 by 68 liter uh, Montrose Hyper. Um, these boards are really going to excel. Uh, first of all, riders ha are in, have been in love with them. <laughs> they really excel in waves where other surfboards struggle uh, or waves that have been known as like kayak only or stand-up paddleboard only types of waves. Um, these are going to be a higher performing option. Um, along with some other good options, along with our drop rail Scud, uh, and also even our inflatable, high volume inflatable uh, river surfboard here. Of those options, they, each one of them serves their own purpose, but of those options, this is probably going to be the highest performing. Let's go over the shape real quick. So We have our diamond nose, diamond tail, uh, just the most functional outline of a board that there is. We do this a lot with a lot of our surf uh, paddle boards and surf boards. It just leaves, leaves a surface area uh, where it's really important. Uh, it just kind of maxes it out. If you were to draw out the rails of this board, you'd be unnecessarily adding on maybe another 12, 14 inches onto the length of this board. So it keeps the volume where it's needed in a rather short, compact board. Just keeps it real high, high performing. Uh, this, the volume or floatiness of this board, you can tell is primarily in the center of this board. It tapers nicely at the nose and the tail and the both rails, uh, really thins out for a 68 liter board, which keeps the rails relatively pinched off, nose nice and thin, which is great for if you, if you were to bury your nose, you can dig it out really easily. Uh, keep out of those purling situations. Uh, the tail has got some nice flotation or volume to it. Um, but again, just real high performing uh, everything for a 68 liter board. Got our full, full traction pad here, our arc support, which we love, just provides a lot of feel for back foot placement. Then we have our stomp pad, uh, leash plug, wider versions of this board come with our uh, woven. We weave a paracord handle in here and we have two plugs. Let's go to the bottom of this board real quick. Let me find a straight edge. So, first of all, this board is made of Armalite. Um, Armalite is going to bounce before it breaks, uh, five times more durable than fiberglass, uh, a lot lighter weight and higher performing and hand shape versus plastic. Uh, if you were to hit something a sharp enough rock, hard enough, where you do need to do a repair, uh, another benefit of Armalite is it is it's going to be it's generally going to be a lot easier to repair than fiberglass or plastic. So contours on the bottom, real nice rolled front end, soft rails on the front end of this board just smooth out the ride in otherwise choppier river conditions. Also help with the pumping, uh, pumping your board and keeping momentum. That transitions into a single concave throughout most of this board. Single concave is going to do a couple things. Uh, it's going to trap the water uh, underneath of the board causing the board to ride higher and just gives it a quicker, looser feel. It planes out a little bit faster as well, keeps it fast. And then the second thing is it's going to, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for the water to wrap around the rails, slowing a board down. Uh, the rails are real hard, 
most of the length until about here where they get soft, um, but nice sharp edges for water to cleanly flow off of. Again, keeping the board nice and fast. Uh, the single transitions into a roll or V out the back, which just loosens up that back end um, of a relatively wider tail. We've We've done them both, tri-fin setups, uh, quad-fin setups, riders love them both, either way. Um, the quad-fin, we've been doing a lot more of these lately. Uh, again, it just kind of goes along with the single channeling water. There's no trailing fin to get in the way at all of that, of that water flow. And then it just flushes out cleanly off the, off the diamond tail, the point of the diamond tail here. So, this tail just does not allow, allow the board to pull or draw much water um, along with her to create a weight, a weight just clean and fast. Uh, you can see the faint outline of our carbon fiber para parabolic stringers here, which just give the board a cool flex uh, or feel to it. And there you have it. Oh, let's talk about rocker. Uh, rocker, we found our rocker is really important as far as speed of a board and performance. If you go too flat on a surfboard, you're trying to redirect the water flow a little bit too much. Uh, and anytime you're trying to redirect, force water to go where it doesn't naturally want to go, you're losing energy. And uh, that's going to slow things down. So anyways, there you go. Uh, I think we covered it. I hope this video helps. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a board for those types of conditions, those types of waves, man, try this thing out. Pick one up. Uh, you're going to love it. Anyways, get out there and enjoy the water. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.